Day YouTube. It is the 29th of March, 2024, and this is my 2011 John Deere. It's a Z225 um, zero turn mower. If you're familiar with my channel, you know I picked this thing up last fall. Um, went over, drove over to Central Oregon, picked it up, drug it back, had some engine issues which we fixed quickly, and then we went through this mower front to rear, and she's in great shape. I love mowing with it. L-O-V-E, love mowing with it. So much that I sold my, I had a snapper rear engine rider that I've had for years, loved it, loved it, loved it, and I sold it. With a tear in my eye, my snapper went away because I love my zero turn. But you know, I jumped on this thing the other day to fire it up, and boy, this, it just, the battery sounded weak. And I'm like, geez, I think I put a new battery in this thing. And I checked it, and sure enough. And so I'm like, well, you know what? I use the heck out of this mower. I cut my grass here at the barn with it, and it really needs cut, but it's so wet. It's been storming all week. And then I cut the neighbor's lawn, and then I cut that neighbor's lawn. Did I tell you I like to mow? And I take it home and cut at the house, and I cut some neighbor's lawns. And there's some single moms and stuff that get free lawn care by me because I love to mow. I've got this thing, and it mows grass so quickly. And then the, the uh, IMCA race car that I sponsor are... YouTube sponsors, YouTube channel, sponsoring race cars, that's right. One of the crew members has uh, broke his foot. I said, don't worry about your lawn, I'll get it done while your foot heals, so they're very fortunate for that. I'm gonna go cut that lawn today. Um, but once again, this starter thing, starter's good. The engine in this thing is a 2021, so it was a replacement engine that the guy I got this from put in a 22, so the whole engine, everything in this thing is new, okay? What I have is a, evidently a battery that's just not cutting it. But uh, this company called Markson contacted me and they said, we have a great line of AGM lawn and garden tractor batteries. And I says, ooh, yeah, you got the right guy because I'm needing the battery for my zero turn. Something with more guts. I said, I put a 250 amp hour battery in this thing, which I thought should be fine. And they said, hey, what if we send you a 320 amp hour battery? And I went, oh man, that would be so cool. And they did. So let's put it in. Let's just let's get it out of the box, see what we got, and put it in. So this thing showed up like yesterday. And the first thing I noticed when I picked this thing up off the porch, I go, whoa, this thing's got some weight to it, more than I was expecting. I mean, you guys know my channel. I bought a million of these batteries, um, but nothing this heavy box so again AGM battery 320 cold cranking amps that should fix my problem pretty happy about this I tell you so they sell these on Amazon they're $69.99 I'll show you the information on them so you can search and find it it's well packaged it's got go handles all right All right, let me zoom in on this so you get the info. So, Mark's on. It's an MX-U1. So, U1, we're all familiar with for lawn and garden batteries. 320. 320 cold cranking amps. And they even rate it at 20 amp hour. For those of you that don't know, so if you had a 1 amp draw on this battery, it would last about 20 hours. Okay? So, if you had a 5 amp draw, you'd get about 4 amps hours out of this battery running it all the way to dead that's what amp hour means and then cold cranking amps is 320 amps available i think that's at like 35 degrees fahrenheit or something like that is how they get that rating so what do you say we get the battery out of my machine i put this battery in my bad boy and uh, let's have some confidence here in the starting ability all right i got the battery ready to come out these are held in um with a rubber bungee cord, and this is correct. I had to buy this um, when I got this thing because there was no strap on the battery at all. I got positive and negative cables unhooked. So I'll pull this out. You gotta lower the seat just a little bit. There it is. Now, the weight difference is substantial. You, know, you can really feel this is heavier. There's more guts in it. Okay, I'm gonna set old battery side we'll use it and something else and let's take these off 
rod. Set this in place. Lower the seat a little. Come on, wires. Why are you fighting me? Don't fight me. Let me get this bad boy hooked up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got the battery in. Now for the test. Now we get to fire it up. Let's see what kind of uh, starting action we get here. All right, brakes on. Chokes on. Just firing a hole. Yeah, we're not gonna have a dead battery or a low battery. So go on Amazon right now and look for Markson. They make both a 250 amp hour and a 320 amp hour, or excuse me, 320 cold cranking amp and a 250 cold cranking amp. And they're only five dollars difference between the two. So get the 320 and have some confidence in your machine. So this is an AGM battery. It doesn't gas. It it doesn't even have to be installed, you know, straight up. Not that you have any choice, but it's a, a completely sealed battery. Looks really good. Sounds really good. I'm going to go cut some lawns. We'll catch you guys on the next video.